And if you're eating fresh <laughs> veggies, fresh apples, drinking pure water, you know, not sodas, yeah. once you take the power and the money out of the hands of corporations, puts it back into local farmers, puts it back into local businesses. In a world where our population is rapidly increasing with no sign of slowing down, we need to prepare a new way of living. In an effort to cope with this growth, attention turns to our food production and consumption. Buying local, growing your own garden, eating less meat, or just eating less, can help sustain our planet. The power lies in every individual, and by spreading the word and making smart choices, we can create a more sustainable world. Our diets have ended up dictated by what's cheap to grow on big farms i.e. what's cheap to buy from the market. Our word cheap, we're not looking at the whole, what is it, how cheap is it? Because we're going to pay for it in healthcare costs, you're going to pay for it in the fact that we're draining our non-renewable resources, we're going to pay for it in soil depletion, we're going to pay for it eventually. Nothing's cheap, everything always balances on this universe somewhere. And right now a farmer in Western North Carolina especially an alternative sustainable farmer, is expected to be a farmer, brander, marketer. They have to drive their product to the farmer's market themselves. They have to sit there and know their customers and like shake hands and kiss babies. That's exhausting when you're already a farmer. Being a farmer should be a job into itself. You're a producer. You shouldn't have to go be a marketer, brander, distributor as well. Cucumber? No, I know I'm like all of it. Um, and I think that right now where we're at, like, on an international cultural scale, having people think about what they're eating and making conscious choices is such a huge step in the right direction um, that I'm very supportive of. I, I'm, and, I'm, and I still, even though I'm not a vegetarian myself, support a plant-based diet. Our diet is unsustainable right now, in the long term. It's unsustainable on all those different fronts. And we're watching our economic crumbling. We won't call it a collapse yet, but we're damn near it um, as a country in the Western world because we've been built on an unsustainable economic system. Our food system has been built on an unsustainable system of you know, finite resources, like I just said. And so we are going to have to loop into a sustainable food system. What that's going to look like, I can imagine, but I mean, the future brings so many new technologies that who knows.